JB, 35 nothing over North County, sixth or seventh straight win over that program, and uh, your fifth straight win in the program since the spring. Uh, and then 1-0. and 1-0 and is the big number. Yeah, 1-0 and on a Thursday night, first game of CCS, and open up with a goose egg. Can't be more proud of my boys. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, there are a lot of distractions ahead of the game. We still got a lot to work on, uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, but anytime I can get a goose egg, I'm a pretty happy camper. Nice. And especially when we get it on that goal line stop at the end of the game, and that was not my first team in. Okay. Uh, that's one thing about my boys is that uh, they, they bring it. They yeah. bring it. Every single guy does their job. All right, and um, you know we may not have these crazy standout players, but when you got 20 guys all giving it their all every single play, and relying on one another and doing their job, I couldn't ask for more out of them. But, and it, it's just amazing. I love it. Yeah, you said you said no standouts. I think maybe because there's no track record. Maybe well, I just look at them because your, your receivers made some you know some leaping catches oh, for yeah. first downs, sending off plenty of horse whinnies for the Absolutely. first down. And, and, uh, you know, and then you got four guys rushing close to 100 yards. Oh, know? well, that, like I said, I mean, but if you see right there, you're, you're naming a bunch of guys. Yeah. We're not all saying, hey, Brendan Doyle, Brendan Doyle, yeah, Brendan Doyle. It's way no. more dangerous. Everybody is doing something. Yeah. You can't focus on one guy with us. You yeah. need to do your job. Yeah. All right. And, and as you can see, we're not just running the ball. We do whatever they give us. You want to, you want to give us something, we're going to take it. Nice. You want to give a shout out to your offensive coordinator? Oh, absolutely. Jo uh, Coach Rueda, Joel Rueda, just fantastic. Uh, I, I just, he's it's just a, a genius when it comes to play calls. Uh, I, don't know I could not be happier with him. And, 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 and the beauty of it is he's the most humble guy. And you talk to him, all he says is, I just want to be good at my job. Well, and he puts in the work. Yeah, beautifully called game. I love the one actually where you kind of, action uh roll out kind of to the left and it's kind of a, a counter like a delayed run oh yeah Those, oh yeah you only ran it two or three times but each time 20 plus yards it seemed like oh yeah it's a beauty it's yeah. a beauty it, it's just set up well especially again it's just it's what they give us you know mm -hmm. we got guys over pursuing hey it's gonna come at you right yeah. you, know, you get stacking on the box hey we might throw the ball you can't just do one thing against us and that's what i love about it we're nice and balanced and for the shout out you want to give a shout out to your d coordinator absolutely uh coach banks uh came over here i coached with him over at mpc uh him and uh coach buckles both came over uh they had to wait a year because because they said they would and they came over and i'm just really happy to have them uh fantastic game plan and um we're gonna keep on moving we're gonna keep on moving we i love it i'm happy with it we still got a lot of work I'm sure to do. Sure, you have Carmel on the horizon. Yep, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, talk about the latest addition from the Spawn family. Uh, you were raving about him uh, and his intelligence and a little bit of everything, and he showed a little bit of everything today. Uh, five of uh, his seven completions went for you know twenty plus yards, and uh, you know he completes fifty percent on a day and a nice little showing. There was a few that were dropped. Yeah, there were two, some there too. Were, yeah, there were two drops. Yeah. yeah, and 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 you know busting it in on on uh, you know on the goal line. Yeah, he scored and, scored two Ds, two DDs, and three. three and he's two starting the whole time on defense as well, and he's calling everything and making sure that all the checks are are taken care of. Yeah. Um, what can I say about Spawn? He's a stereotypical player that any coach wants on their team. Mm -hmm. Not only does he walk the walk, but he talks the talk. He's a leader, both uh, both physically and mentally. Uh, we call it a compelled player. Not only does he do what he's told, he does more, but he compels others to do more as well. First guy to come to practice, last guy to leave, always leads by example, nothing but a class act. I want to give a shout out to Jamie Ledesma. He goes for uh, 10 carries for 118 yards. Oh uh, man, Jamie Ledesma and his brother Johnny finally got him back, had an injury. Um, here they're just getting back into it. What an addition. Uh, so great. Uh, Jamie came over here. He's been here for one year. He's working on his second year and he's already a squad leader. That's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, the way he, when, I'll tell you a quick story about, about Jamie and I love it because sure. him and his brother Johnny are twins. And I told him he was squad leader. He was one of the, one of the later guys I, I, I picked. And uh, those are captains on our team. And um, I love it. Johnny came up to me afterwards, his brother, and he said, he goes, coach, you didn't even tell me anything. The only reason why I found out was because he ran into his room, he went up to his whiteboard where he has all his goals written, and squad leader, he crossed it out. <laughs> if, I, if I didn't make a good pick at a squad leader right yeah, yeah. there, I, I don't know what, you know, yeah. I, I, that's, that's exactly what you want by the guy, man. And then you talk about, uh, you know, with all the plays we run, there's a lot of plays where he's not getting the ball yeah, yeah. and he's just getting hit left and right. Sure. And the guy is just unselfish. On top of that, we do spotlights afterwards, right? And the other guy that's competing for his job, Joel, uh -huh. uh, he decides to spotlight the guy competing with him. Talk about unselfish. Talk about a leader. 
this is this is the squad I got, man. Yeah. And it, it's just fantastic. So proud of each and every one of them. Yeah, well, Keegan was like the returning rusher, and he's not even like highlighted today, you know? And, I mean, he showed he nine carries for 48 yards, but uh, Will Mesa and Ledesma uh, kind of went off. Well, I'm sure that they, they probably were keying on Keegan a little yeah. bit, and that's what happens. Yeah. You, you can't key on just one person here. Everybody does their job. Yeah. We, it, next man up, and we're ready to go. Hey, I, I'll tell you what, Keegan is a major leader on our team as well. All right, and he is going to shine. Sure. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> like I said, we, it was a track record, so, you know, it's going to pop up one of these Absolutely. times. Absolutely. Awesome, Absolutely. awesome. Well, congrats on the win, and good luck next week. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.